since I want a four inch uh, gap and this is one and a half inches, I just have to put the appropriate wedge to give me four inches around the form. Now when you have concrete on wood, that's the case, but when you have uh, wood on wood or frame on frame, you need a much smaller piece. So just make sure you get your measurements and you get the right size piece of wedge that you need to get the appropriate spacing. So what I'll do is um, I'll level this and slope it. I'd say if you're mixing more than 10, 20 bags of cement, 80 pound bags, I highly recommend either buying a cement mixer, you could get a generic one for about $180, or you can rent one at your local hardware store. Um, not only is concrete mixing uh, physically intensive, but uh, trying to get uh, the appropriate mixture, the uh, correct amount of water, is essential to making a strong paver. Screeding the concrete is essential for a level and smooth finish. You want to make sure that the timber that you use is resting on the frame and the frame is clear of any debris so you can slide the lumber back and forth. It's the vibration motion that allows the concrete to settle in and allow the aggregate to drop to the bottom. This is a concrete edger. This is necessary to have a sharp edge and a better looking end product. You want to use the edger once the concrete pour has lost its sheen or initial shine from all the water that has come to the top. That allows the concrete to be a bit firmer and the edges not fall into the wood form again. This is a close-up of the corner to show you how to get the corner to be sharp just like the edges. It's important you don't press too hard as you could start depressing the concrete and pushing it away from the corner, changing the level. So what you gotta do is evenly slide the edger back and forth and you can start bringing some extra concrete to the corner by gliding in that direction. If you happen to have rocks sticking up, just vibrate the edger until the rocks sink, sink back down.
To have a smoother finish, you'll have to use a float. This is a wood float. What it does is brings out the sand in the aggregate. And this is a metal one which will give you a smoother finish.